hello guys today we are discussing new topic that is transfer function so guys in the control systems we know how to write the transfer function for any rc network or rl network rlc network but if only single loop is given we can easily write but if there are more number of loops containing elements like r l and c so i will be giving a short trick to write the transfer function for it so first see i am having rc network okay i'll be having either resistor here and and capacitor here i'll be taking the output across the capacitor it is v0 and i'm having the input voltage as va so this is r this is c okay I'll be writing the transfer function for it. This is 1 by CS, right? You can write like this, right? In the S domain. So, V0 of S by VI of S. So, nothing but it's a voltage division rule. We can find the voltage across the capacitor is VI. So, I'll be writing VI here. 1 by CS by total impedance okay this is the transfer function for rc network i'll be writing as 1 by rcs plus 1 is it right yes so this is how we write the transfer function for rc network similarly i'll be writing the transfer function now for rl network so i'm having r here and l here okay similarly I'll be taking the voltage across the inductor and this is a VA this is R this is L so in the S domain we'll be writing as LS R will be remains the same right so V naught of S by VI of S is equal to shunt, shunt element that is LS by LS plus R this is the transfer function for RL network I'll be writing C now I'm writing the transfer function for RLC okay this is a same approach R L and I am having C here okay this is RLC and here I am having the input as VI and I am taking the output across the capacitor so i'll be writing as v naught here this is the c this is l this is r c now v naught of s by v i of s i set shunt element what is this here shunt element 1 by c s by total r plus l s plus 1 by c s so I am rewriting the whole term 1 by L L C by S square plus R by L into S plus 1 by L C. Okay, this is a final equation for RLC network. Network and you know this. This is more natural frequency omega n, right? 1 by root L C. Okay if you find zeta here r by 2 into root over c by l we all know about this now the important thing is if we are having more number of elements okay so how to write the transfer function in a single step that is very important thing so just just listen see i am having a z1 here in parallel i am having a z2 impedance and next i am having a z3 here again in parallel i am having a z4 here okay and i want to write the transfer function for it having the input va so i said we can write transfer function for this in one step how to write 
just listen a simple trick okay a simple trick here is first v not of s by v i of s okay okay follow this simple step step see what are the shunt elements here z2 and z4 right so i will be writing z2 into z4 okay now see come from the left side okay come from the left side z1 write z1 and sum of remaining all impedances z2 plus z3 plus z4 next next element is z2 okay write z2 what are the remaining right side elements z3 plus z4 over this is over right this is a transfer function for this network simple right why i am writing only two terms because i am having only two loops only two loops so i am writing only two z1 and z2 if i am having one more network here like z5 and z6 i'll be writing z3 into z4 and remaining next to z4 into other okay you got the trick right so i'll be giving a small example here in shop z1 replace any or lc elements you'll be getting the same so for that purpose i am giving you r here just see here this is r2 this is c2 okay this is a c2 c1 r2 r1 i am having is vi and i am having this is v not here so i want to write the transfer function that v not of s by okay v i of s this is the transfer function we need here okay according to this we can write the transfer function as 1 by c2s into 1 by c1s all right shunt elements next come from the left side i am having r1 so write just r1 add up these three left side elements 1 by c1s plus r2 plus 1 by c2s plus 1 by c1s and then we add remaining two elements that is r2 plus 1 by c2 es okay hope you guys understood the topic very clearly this is how we can write any transfer function any network if it is having any number of loops follow this approach because i am having only two loops here so i am writing only z1 and z2 in the denominators if i am if i am having the three loops go for z3 and z4 okay hope you guys understood this okay thank you please do like and share and watch my previous videos i will be uploading some important and tricks for your uh, upcoming examinations okay please do like and share thank you thank you so much